Hey guys, me and my Sydney team are back with a new DS battle. Uh, this is a triple battle. Uh, it took me a really long time to find a triples battle in uh, random Wi-Fi, and uh, Lord knows no one's challenging me to a triple battle. Hint, hint. Um, but anyway, uh, I had two triples battles, uh, and the first one was against a Sun team, um, which did really awfully with, uh, I, but I couldn't even record it because the, the, we had a disconnect error. Um, and now here you see there's a it's a rain team. A dead giveaway is the Polytoad. Um, yeah, they're talking about banning uh, rain right now in uh, Smogon, and I just think that's silly. But whatever. So um, yeah, I've never had a triple battle before. I'm not exactly sure how all these mechanics work out, and I'm really curious about all this. But um, I'm just thanking God that I put that Rotom in the right place. Because I was like, okay, well it says one, two, three. Well. You know, I would put the one in the middle, but I really don't know. Anyway, uh, in the rain, that Hydro Pump from Politoed does a lot. Um, but uh, luckily, uh, no one is, you know, there's only one guy who's faster than um, my Rotom. And so I'm able to get off a Discharge um, and should hopefully kill his Mantine if no one else. But uh, since he's in the center, he's going to hit all three Pokemon. Um, basically, the guys on the edge can only hit the Pokemon in front of them and next to them. Um, which is kind of interesting, but I see that Mantine didn't die, I'm like, oh man, that sucks, gotta focus Sash, uh, but I'm thinking, okay, well that's alright, whatevs. Um, anyway, uh, I paralyze his, uh, his Vaporeon, which sucks, because I'm about to set up a Trick Room, uh, and plus I had Tangrowth uh, use Sleep Powder, as you, uh, here we go, um, and that's not going to do anything because he's already paralyzed. Um, but oh well. And then uh, Mantine has uh, Mirror Coat, which sucks. One hit KOs my Rotom since it's bounced back with double the damage. What I'm curious about is, it, is it double the damage that was dealt to his guy or double the damage dealt overall? Um, because it was double the damage dealt overall, and that was a way overkill. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I do get up the Trick Room, and so I'm pretty happy. So I go ahead and send out Steelix, is going to be the slowest thing imaginable, because not only does it have the worst, or the lowest, um, speed, uh, base ever, but it also has a, uh, power weight to slow it down even further. Um, there's a strategy involving tricking stuff, um, having to do with Rotom, so the Rotom can be slow, kind of like how I do it on my Isabella team, um, which is my, uh, PBR, OU, um, doubles, trick room team. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, or I'm getting way behind in the narration. Um, I'm hoping for some flinch hacks here, um, and in fact I do get some flinch hacks, and Steelix has man also manages to take down one of his guys. Um, uh, Musharna takes out uh, the other guy, uh, Polly, Toad, and then I take out the third guy with a power whip, uh, boosted power whip, thanks to Recharge Cell from um, Tangrowth. And so anyway, now uh, he's down three Pokemon, um, and uh, I'm only down one, and so I'm feeling pretty good right now, and the Trick Room's up, so uh, his Kingdra, which gets uh, insanely boosted speed in the rain, uh, isn't going to get any boost in the rain, which is really nice. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm really stupid here, and I go for the Earthquake, I just didn't pay attention. Um, that Jolteon has a um, Balloon, which is a great item. As you'll see in a minute, I have um, a Pokemon with a blue. Um, but I really just should have gone for the Rock Slide, which would have KO'd his Dentura for sure, and would have done some damage against his Jolteon, plus maybe would have gotten the flinch. But I was just being so stupid, and I wasn't paying any attention, and it's going to cost me really, really a lot. So I get um, one hit KO'd, or I get... Uh, my Tangrowth gets KO'd by uh, Dentura. Dentura, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Gen 5 Pokemon. But uh, I just really thought that it was too frail to really do much good in um, multi-battles. Anyway, Musharna is taken out by a Thunder. Um, and my Steelix is still has full HP, so that's pretty good. Um, but Kingdra does manage to get off a Hydro Pump, and that's going to take me down to my Sturdy. Um, which is not going to be good, because if... Uh, lots of Denturas, mine included, uh, run Sucker Punch. Um, so that's not going to be good for me because he can just take a uh, KO me the next turn and there's not much I can do because all of my moves are uh, attacking. Um, and even if they weren't, you know, he could just, you know, I'm down to 1 HP, what else can I do? So yeah, um, I'm KO'd by that Sucker Punch, which sucks. 
You know, if, if I actually, if I had to have leftovers instead of, um, uh, the power item, then maybe he could have recovered enough HP, but I don't know. Anyway, Lantern, being the champ that he is, finishes off Kingdra. Um, and he, Daruma, I go ahead and have it use Belly Drum. This is the very rare, uh, Daruma mode, Hey He Daruma. Uh, sorry, Darmanitan. I forgot that it now has the new name. And so I'm really excited to see it in uh, Daruma mode, except for Frig, I get thundered to the face, and He Daruma is taken out. Um, so this is actually a really big failing, in my opinion, of He He Daruma. Um, I'm calling it that. I like the name better than Darmanitan. Anyway, um, it's a really big failing about Daruma mode that it only activates at the end of the turn, not once it goes down in HP. So he made the, he makes a mistake here, um, not knowing how the moving works. I actually didn't know how the moving works. I'm really glad I saw him do it. Uh, move costs a turn, and it does it, uh, and it, you, you move with the speed uh, priority. It looks like, or no, actually I guess not because Jolteon should be faster. Oh, no, 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 well, the Trick Room's still up, so that's why, yeah. So anyway, um, Denshura uh, switches before he can attack me with Shadow Ball, and uh, he hit me with a uh, crit bug buzz, which sucked, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to lose this match because, you know, Lantern's a special wall, um, and I just couldn't believe it did that much, that, uh, you know, that bug buzz, but it, it was a crit. Uh, so this is interesting. If your Pokemon are on opposite ends, it does something called reset move, and so no, and neither of you actually has to waste the turn and move. Um, anyway, Shadow Ball does not do enough to kill me, and I'm like, oh man, that's awesome. And I'm like, okay, well, it looks like it'll two hit KO, but, but I do have leftovers. So the question is, can I recover enough HP with leftovers that his next Shadow Ball is not going to kill me? And obviously, he can't use Thunder against me because I've got Volt Absorb. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm just kind of, you know, scratching my head here and wondering whether the Shadow Ball is going to kill me. And as you're about to see, it does not! And I'm like, oh man, that's awesome! And so I get off of boiling water and I KO his Jolteon, which is the sexiest thing ever, and I win the match. So yeah, totally awesome. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.